Dear grade 10 students, welcome to English 102. Before I start, as the usual, I would request you to please bring your class book, a notebook, papers, pen, pencil, a dictionary, because you might need to refer to it, and have yourselves comfortably seated. Our lesson will be lesson 12, writing a formal email. The objectives that we will be tackling today is, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to distinguish between formal and informal email, identify the layout and structure of a formal email, write a formal email. My question to you is, when do you write an email? I'll give you 30 seconds. Just note the ideas. When do you actually write an email? Okay, now let's see what are the different reasons in which we write an email. And that's why we have two types of email, the formal and the informal. So, the informal, let's read it. Informal email uses descriptive words, more details, and is written in an active voice. Mostly used for chatting between family and friends. From the name, it's informal. So here we actually chit chat, we are telling each other things, we're sending each other materials, we're helping each other for many different reasons. Whereas the other type is the formal email, the formal email. Formal email is straight to the point, less detailed and informative sentences, is written in a passive tone, mostly used for answering or receiving inquiries. So here the formal email is usually when you're asking question, when you're requesting certain things from your instructors, your lecturers, your doctors, or uh, for, for example, ordering something from Amazon and it didn't yet reach or something, here when you write the formal email. Okay, so how is the layout? The layout goes on as follows. Let's go to the informal and then move to the formal. The informal, we start with greeting. Since it's informal, we are more, ca more casual. So, hi, hello, dear, how are you? Opening phrases, how are you? How are things? How is life? Um, and then we go on the body, what, what we want to talk about. So I want to tell you about my trip, whatever you want to tell your friend. So I'm sending you these material because you will need them for so-and-so and so on. The ending, take care, cheers, see you soon, bye, love, and so. Formal is completely different. You start greeting, dear, miss, sir, madame, and so on. The opening, you directly get to the point. It's straightforward. I would like to know, I wish to know. I wonder if you could, and you get to the subject. And then in the body, you actually write your inquiries in detail, and you end with, with regards. Thank you. Now, what I want you to do is classify the following. Which of the following statements goes to the informal and which goes to the formal? I'll give you one minute.
Okay, I think time is up. Let's check our answers. So, as we said, informal is talking to your friend. So, hello, Sarah. How are you? I hope you're okay. I want to tell you about my trip to France. It was so amazing. I loved it and so on. Okay, I got to, I got to leave now. Bye. See you soon. So, this is usually the informal structure. And I'm expecting all of your answers are correct because it's so easy. And the formal, it's evident. Dear sir or madam, I would like to know when will you start the course? When will the course start? First, if I took the course and then the inquiries comes. So here he or she is asking more details. The summary or before ending, they say, as I mentioned above. So here they're concluding and they're emphasizing or focusing on certain points. I am very interested in joining the course and he'll continue or he, she will continue with regards. Okay, so let's summarize what a formal email is. In short, a formal email is greeting, dear sir or madam. The main body, you start with opening. In the opening, you give the statement and you directly get to the point. I would be very grateful if you could, and you here present your inquiries. Then you state them in more detail and has to be organized in an organized order. So if you're, a, if you're having more than one question, you start with, first of all, if I joined and so on. Concerning the program, I am interested to know. So they are straight to the point and passive. The ending, looking forward to hear from you. With regards, the signature, usually the name, the first and your last name. That being said, I want you now to read the following email. I'll give you one minute to read it. Okay, let's read it all together. Dear sir or madam, I would like to join your English course this summer. I am interested in improving my English, my communication skills, and your program seems to be ideal for me, as it's interactive. First of all, I would request you to send me full details about the program content and its duration. I would also like to know the cost of the program. Concerning the materials, will they be provided to us or shall we bring our own materials? If yes, what are the requirements of the program? I hope you answer my, my questions. Looking forward to hear from you with regards, James. Greeting, opening statement, directly. What is it about? The English program. Body one, stated two, and the ending. As easy as that. Okay, now similarly, just like this email, I am expecting you to write me an email asking about a summer camp program. Okay, I want you to follow the same structure, greeting in the formal manner, opening the statement and directly mentioning that it's about the summer camp. In the body, I need to mention one thing. You can ask your questions into two parts or you can merge it into one. Okay, so you can have one or two. It's your call of preference. And then the ending. After you finish that, I would like to ask you to, before starting to do this, actually have your um, questions written as points. So brainstorm it. And then in order to ease your process, start writing. I'll give you five minutes to do that. There is different possible answers, but more or less, if you're going to go to the summer camp, what questions are you going to ask? Ask them in an email.
Okay, so I'm expecting your answers to be more or less similar to this. So the greeting is the same. The opening, you're going to mention that it's about a summer camp. And why are you interested in the summer camp? Here, the ideas that you wrote, the questions that you're having, you are either going to divide it into two pa paragraphs or one, it's your call of preference. And then the ending is the same. So we will be having it filled or all here. And with that, we reach the end of the lesson. Thank you and see you soon.